Hey there, blade lovers. This old sword here. And we've got an unusual and fun one for you today. Before you is the Reich Alien 3 Garambit. Hawk's blade, Hawk's bill, claw, however you want to deem it. But uh, with the ring, we'll call it a Karambit. It is um, from N690 CO Steel, which is a steel uh, frequently used by Fox Knives. I'm told, however, it is made by Bowler, and it is made in Austria. So I'm on record as that. I've been corrected, and until I'm recorrected, that's what I'm going with. And it's uh, unusual to know what steel this is because you are not going to find a branding or a mark anywhere on this blade. Well, I take that back. There is the maker's logo, Reich Knives, on the what would be a pivot pin if it was a folder, but it's a fixed blade. You can take the handles off with those two screws, front and rear. You'll notice it's got the... Uh, from the movie Alien, the back of the alien there, his shell or what have you. Interesting design and skeletonized straight through both the tang of the, uh, the blade as well as the handles. Material is a burlap micarta in a brown, near as I can tell. Uh, Big old hole in the blade, which follows the shape of the blade, interestingly enough. It is a smooth bead blast finished. Almost looks as though it was bead blasted and then slightly polished. We have an ample ring for you Karambit folks. Let's back out just a little. Am I going to back out a little? Yes, I am. Okay. So we got a nice ring. You can do your karambit flips. I'm not going to look through the camera and the table and make sure I don't cut up my background. But you get the point. No pun intended. We have uh, jimping on the back here. Ahead of the thumb ramp, really. But as part of it. So you've got a good hold if you want to do point up, edge forward. And you have a good hold if you want to go point down, edge forward, karambit style. A um, little more space here than I usually like. Um, if I didn't have my finger in the ring, that would be the grip I'd like to have. Um, so you can have that if you don't put your finger through the ring. If you put your finger through the ring... And we never put the finger all the way up as though you're going to wear this as jewelry. You put the ring to the second joint of the finger. And so there, you know, it's not too bad. And you do have a decent uh, point kind of leading, although not so much as some of the Indonesian karambits that point forward. I'm going to do a karambit episode uh, video one of these days and uh, show you what I got for karambits, which is a considerable amount of different varieties, some traditional and some modern manufacture. Um, I just happen to like them. Uh, do I think it's the uh, be-all and end-all for a defensive knife? Not necessarily, but with the right technique, uh, they are awesome blades. Just don't quite have the reach of uh, more of a standard blade. I won't get into all of that. That's method and technique and real here we're really talking about design but design speaks to technique and technique creates design so and as i've always said the most flexible element in a weapon system or any kind of system is the user who can adapt and change and do things one way and then do things another way and train all right so enough lecturing but that is the Reich Alien 3 Karambit. Let me show you the scabbard or the sheath. Very, 
Very well made. They didn't scrimp on this. I think this came in somewhere around uh, 130 to 150. I think I got the best offer deal on eBay. eBay was the only place I could find them, although I think Atlantic Cutlery has them. And uh, Knife Center might have them. Whoever carries Reichs might have them. You've got a tech lock. So clamps on very nicely. You have a lock for the tech lock, which uh, locks out the button. Not too often the button's going to get pushed and this is going to lift at the same time, but you know, you never know. You got to press that all the way in to disengage the uh, lock. Um, as with all tech locks, it can be rotated in different positions. You simply need to change the position of these two screws, which have these rubber bumpers. I mean, this is all properly done. So I don't know if it's branded as a tech lock, but it uh, certainly is a tech lock. We have uh, slots here so that this can be lashed. You can remove the tech lock and lash it to uh, gear, backpack, vest, what have you. Um, the fit is quite nice. Locks in positively. Ain't going nowhere. Best way to take it off, thumb it off. Good sheaths are made that way. They are going to be a little hard to just grab and yank, which you can still do, but more easily thumbed off. So that's it for the Kydex sheath. Uh, Size-wise, we'll throw one knife up here for you. They're totally different knives, so if you need a size comparison, we can do that. There is the Ontario Rat 1. And I didn't put the tape on it. Let's do that. So the blade ends up being three and a quarter. Overall length to the end of the ring, eight and an eighth. Cutting edge, if you want to measure it straight, even though it's a curve, is three and an eighth. And blade thickness, I'm going to call it four millimeters. Good stock. See where we can grab this. 0.57 inches, which for a fixed blade is fine. Nicely contoured and rounded. No sharp edges. These will give you maybe a little bit more grip. The uh, ventilation there. Again, holds quite well in the claw type position. Clawing down. And... Uh, is really comfortable in the crambit position. Just a little bit long with a little excess handle here for me in that position. Again, if you dismiss the ring, it's fine. So there you have the Reich Alien 3. There is a Alien 2, which I believe is the folder and uh, some other knives that they're using the Alien moniker on. But again, the uh, Reich Alien 3 fixed blade N690CO steel burlap micarta handle slabs. It's an uh, unusual and handsome looking blade. Hope you like this video and you hit the subscribe button. Thank you. We'll be back soon. This old sword signing out.